one of these things is not like the other one of these things just doesn't belong can you tell which thing is not like the other by the time i finish this song if you said this one you'd be right and today we'll be talking about why this one is different and why this tip could help you save your garden let's get going Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining in. This is the Lafani Trini Gardener channel and I'm not going to be keeping you all long today at all. I promise. I just want to share one little tip. It's something that is very easy to miss in your garden. It's something that can save your garden from being completely destroyed by a certain pest that likes to come in. It likes to lay its eggs in your leaves, put a sticky substance to roll your leaves in and wouldn't you know it, this insect is called the leaf roller moth. Remember, moths are like butterflies. They start off as eggs, then they have caterpillars, then they have a cocoon. From the cocoon, they turn into a moth, they have wings, and they fly. But this one is not as pretty as your regular butterflies. And I'm going to be showing you the one I just showed you all that has this issue. And we'll talk a little bit about it. So, look at this leaf here. You can see it's kind of rolled in, right? This is not normal. In nature, this doesn't just happen like that. It happens with the intervention <clears throat> of an insect that wants to use your plants as a habitat for its offspring. And there you go. I'm going to be <clears throat> turning this apart. And there you have it. Can you see that inside there? Let me make sure you can. There we go. So that is our caterpillar that is going to one day turn into a leaf roller mutt and continue the cycle of using your leaves now what will generally happen the idea is that and you know nature is amazing because it finds a way to survive because you know first this is an inconvenience but for these insects it's survival right and and we all just try to survive on this blue earth so the moth will come in it will lay its eggs inside of on the inside of the leaf itself on the soft side actually because it's easier now to roll and it will sort of release a kind of secretion that is like a glue that will stick it inside this so from here the eggs has the eggs have rather a protection from the rain from extra sun from certain predators such as wasp and jeb that come in and do eat the eggs and they will stay inside there they will hatch from a little tiny little egg that was really hard to see just right here and the caterpillars will begin eating and feeding on this leaf until it has entirely devoured the leaf from the inside out and then it'll move on to another leaf and if not kept in check then you can have a big problem on your hand because if your plants don't have the leaves they can't photosynthesize create energy get their energy from the sun make the energy that will help them to produce your fruit to produce your harvest so my advice is according to a old russian proverb i can't say it in russian but it goes something like the best fertilizer pesticide the best any kind of amendment to any garden is the shadow of the farmer or the gardener and that's the reality which is that the more time you spend in your garden once you're able to it doesn't always happen but once you're able to be vigilant to stay alert in your garden especially if you really are depending on a crop then it's really important that you spend time with your crop and once you see these kind of situations going on with your leaves you have the leaves folded in just know that's never normal and usually it's some kind of pest that wants to attack and wants to take out your plant and use it for its own benefit which is not normally a problem unless it will destroy your plant which is in this case here it definitely can we are in the rainy season right now the rainy season when you have a lot of water a lot of moisture is a time when a lot of these insects spawn so you'll find that pest issues become a little bit harder during the rainy season which is one of the main factors that drives up not the only one but one of the major factors that can drive up the price of many vegetables in this time of the year so be extra vigilant if you've taken the time to start your home garden you have your home garden running up and running you've done the work then safeguard what is yours do the steps and honestly this one is very very easy don't spray anything don't go looking for any kind of pesticide insecticide none of that is necessary just simply come in be vigilant when you see these things take the leaf put it on the ground crush it end of story all right sometimes it can be a bit tedious but it's a lot better than having to spray anything in your garden at all 
Okay, just realized that these last few minutes were fairly blurry on the camera. Don't worry, it's not very important that you see me. Much more important that you just hear the message and that you put these advice into practice in your garden. And I'm just going to take you, let you see a few more of these instances that I have a little situation going on here with the leaf roller moth that has been attacking. This is same and I just really would like it to stop. But for it to stop, I need to start working and working towards that end, which is to get it to completely just die and die by my hands or by my boots. It's crazy, huh? It's crazy that they're able to do this. Nature really is just amazing, terrible, but amazing, and of course, to be respected and you know, find a way to work around. Because what are we going to do? We can't stop nature from existing. All of these insects at some point do serve some kind of purpose. I mean, what will Egypt eat if they didn't have this to eat? So it's not so much about wishing that it didn't happen, but it's finding ways around it and being as ingenuitive as possible in our garden and just being able to figure out how to move around nature so that nature doesn't end up destroying us, engulfing us. And I don't think that's nature's purpose, but nature does have a way of kind of getting on our nerves sometimes. So we just have to find a way to just work around and work with the situation, not so much against it, but work with the situation itself. Now, remember, if you know somebody who would be interested in growing more healthy organic food for themselves and their family, feel free to share this video with them. Maybe they might benefit from this tip. And of course, if you would like to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and, and on Facebook, you'll be able to see a lot more content coming out of the Trinity Gardens Garden, where we're able to show you what's taking place here, and you're able to tag us on any of those platforms so that we can see what's taking place on your side to continue encouraging us and encouraging one another in this craft of gardening. Remember that, as always, this has been Dylan from the Trinity Gardener channel, reminding you to get up and get green. Take care.